Well, she has always been outspoken about her feelings towards President Trump and recently voted to convict and remove him from office. Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono joins us now to share her thoughts on his acquittal, plus other issues affecting us here in Hawaii. We welcome her back home and to our studio. Good morning, good morning. Senator. Nice to see you. <laughs> always good to be home. Baby. Always, <laughs> always good to have you here. And we look a little have bit to get uh, that zip men and you know all the other foods that I like. Yes, you didn't get your zip men yet, but I you am, will. There's still time. You will. There's yeah. still time. Not a lot of time, though. You're here again. A quick trip. Remind us why you're here this time. Well, this is uh, the state work peri period for all of us, so I'm taking the time. Uh, for, to for example, tomorrow, I'm joined by Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia. He and I both serve on the Senate Armed Services Committee, and we'll, we'll be visiting the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard, one of four major public shipyards in our country. Very important. Now, And then I'll go to Lanai on Thursday. Lanai on Thursday, yes. and then it's back to Washington. Yes. Okay, and what are you doing on, on Lanai? I'm just going to be touching bases with uh, uh, the community members there, and, and, you know, I like to do that on every island. So, Thursday's Lanai. Okay, and that's back to Washington. Yes. Busy is almost an understatement <laughs> the past couple of months. Breaking news every moment. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, the impeachment trial just consumed things on yes. Capitol Hill. What was that like, and, and what happens next? First of all, Mitch McConnell made a big announcement that he was going to be working hand in glove and get his marching orders from the White House, and that's what he did. And then he made it very plain that this trial was going to be rigged uh, by not having any relevant witnesses or documents. The good thing is that people in this country don't think that that was a fair trial. And so uh, you mentioned the word acquittal. I said you can't get acquitted in a rigged trial, but there you have it. And we are, we're all seeing the aftermath of the... The Republicans, except for one, refusing to hold the president accountable. See, so he's gone on a rampage of purging uh, people who testified against him. Uh, he even got rid of his ambassador who turned over a million dollars for his uh, inauguration. So Sondland is gone and uh, Vimin and his brother are both go gone. And so this was totally expected. Uh, and he's just t turned in his budget, the president, uh, which makes massive cuts to Medicaid, uh, Social Security for people with disabilities, and Medicare. Uh, so we're obviously we're going to need to work really hard to push back on the president's budget cuts. Also for Hawaii, really important, the military. And he's made, making massive cuts to certain programs, military programs that impact military construction, for example shipbuilding uh, for his wall. So hundreds of millions of dollars he wants to redirect to his wall. So we have our work cut out for us. And Christine, one of the things that, that I want to emphasize is that the Republicans knew that the president was going to go on his, in my view, um, predictable tear, uh, and yet they refused to hold him accountable. I would like everyone to focus on, hey, you Republican senators, what are you guys going to do to hold this president accountable? Also, his attorney general. There are more and more calls for Attorney General Barr to resign, something that I called for back in May of 2019 when he testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee on which I sit. But it's pretty amazing that uh, all of these people are coming forward because they believe in the rule of law and uh, the checks and balances, all of which are under attack by this administration. So a lot of things always happening on Capitol yes. Hill. Uh, <laughs> one big issue affecting the whole world yes. is the coronavirus outbreak. Thankfully, no confirmed cases here yes. in Hawaii. What's happening uh, in Washington to make sure that we are protected? One thing that I would like to see is funding for the uh, CDC, of the Centers for Disease Control, and uh, lo and behold, the president has just cut that budget, uh, but that account quite a, a lot, even as we're dealing with this, uh, this coronavirus issue. My staff is in touch with the federal agencies involved on a very regular basis, and we also stay in touch with the Department of Health here. Uh, and so anything that we can do. Now, in the meantime, people should be aware this is flu season. They should wash their hands and um, uh, not touch their faces, and everyone should be uh, very aware. But I know that, for example, face masks mm -hmm. and hand sanitizers, they're, they're all off the shelves. They've been sold out. What do you want to tell the residents of Hawaii about all of this and people who are concerned? For Hawaii, 
um, I believe that we are in a position to be very responsive should there be anyone who comes uh, to, comes here with uh, symptoms. And so I, um, I am pretty much assured that we're okay, but at the same time, you never know. So I think that we need to be alert. Uh, safety is uh, the health and safety of our people uppermost. And at the same time, my hope is that when we get back to Washington, D.C., that we'll do more than just uh, keep confirming more and more of the most uh, ideologically oriented judges that will not protect our environment, protect women's choice, or protect workers. Those are the kind of judges that have been being put on the judiciary with lifetime appointments. I will continue to fight against those. All right, and we'll continue to follow <laughs> the developments on Capitol Hill Thank as you. always. And always nice to see Aloha. you, Senator. Aloha.